Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. All right. So let me tell you guys what happened to me today and the importance of not rushing things and not feeling needy, right? So today I challenged myself, right? Whenever I'm going through something, I tell you guys, I don't use the low vibrational words. Um, you know, but I was going through, I was feeling, you know, my mom was like, you know, scared it pretty much. Is that low vibration? But whatever, okay. So my mom was scattered and um I was thinking, I was like, you know, I could it's so important to listen to universe, right? To listen to your intuition, okay? So I was um my intuition, first of all, I went to Boston, yes, well, Baltimore last night. And coming on my way back home from Baltimore, I was like, you know what? I could go to Whole Foods to get some water because recently I just um, purchased some Seymour's. And I'm going to do a video on the Seymour's, but I just purchased some Seymour's and I needed to soak the Seymour's overnight. So my intuition was like, you know, wait or whatever, like, you know, go to Whole Foods. But then something was like, you know, just wait. So today I got up, right, and I was feeling some type of way. And whenever I'm feeling some type of way, I listen to things that is going to uplift me, things that is going to motivate me in a sense we as so, um, you know, I don't stay in that space. So anywho, I got ready. Something said, go to Whole Foods. Okay, go to Whole Foods in Maplewood. Um, Maplewood, New Jersey, okay? I'm from, I'm from New Jersey, okay? So I got to Whole Foods in New Jersey, um, and so I went to the Whole Foods in New Jersey and, and Maplewood. And then when I got there, um, see what you got to understand, what you got to realize that every time or whatever you feel about yourself, or if you feel like, damn, people going to notice, like, that's one of my biggest things, right? Like if I'm not, um, like myself, right? Because of stress or whatever, I be feeling like they gonna notice that something is off with me. So I had, I, I was like, you know what, I'ma just go to Whole Foods. So I was listening to Infinite Waters, Ralph Small, who, who's a YouTuber, another YouTuber. And so I was listening to Ralph Smart and I had put on a video about anxiety and stuff like this. I was listening to that while I was walking. Well, I was in a car, and then when I got out of the car, I had made eye contact with this guy, right? And my first thought was, oh shit, this guy is going to be able to tell something is off. This guy don't fucking know me from a, a can of, this guy don't know me from a milk carton, right? And I'm thinking it's like, he gonna be able to tell something is off, whatever it was. It's so funny how the ego, like, it plays with you. So from there, I had went into Whole Foods and I seen two guys, two brothers standing outside of Whole Foods and I was like, here we here we go, right? They look in, whatever, here we go. So I got to inside and I said that, you know, I don't want them to look, but I just, today was just one of those days where it's though I don't want the attention. I just want to be in my own zone, get what I need to get, which was water, and get the fuck out of there. So... I seen this brother, the one who I made eye contact with. So I felt like he followed me in the store. I don't know, right? But when I got in there and, you know, I was going through the I asked one brother, I was like, oh, do you know where the mountain valleys are, the cases, whatever. And he was like, um, normally the cases would be right here. If we don't have any more, that means, you know, we, we had to stop, whatever. And he looked at me in a way like, I don't know. I told you the energy been weird lately, right? It been weird. So he was like, make sure you have a nice day. So I was like, all right, you know, kept it moving, kept it, kept it going, okay? So then that was that. So then it was the, the brother who I made eye contact with who had like some type of Jeep or something. Well, he had like a, I don't know what type of car. I wasn't paying attention to that shit. But anywho, so I'm walking through the aisles and I was, you know, just got finished talking to the guy about the water. And then I hear somebody say, um, how you doing? Like, how's your day going? I wasn't even paying attention. I was just like, good. So that was that, right? And I know that was the guy. Like, I figured that was the guy who made eye contact with me. So that was that. So then 
my oldest son, and it was crazy because today I said, I'm not going to bring my children. I be thinking, you know, I ain't getting hit on because I be having my son, my oldest son with me sometimes. The, the dudes probably be like, oh, maybe that's, uh, you know, that's, that's a boo or something, you know, because I do look young. So, okay. So, anywho, so I was walking and the guy was like, um, he followed me down the L. It was like, when he asked me how my day was going, it was like he wasn't finished. But I was so in a rush to get the fuck out of Whole Foods that I ain't have time to talk. I ain't want to do anything. I just wanted to pay for my stuff and get out of there. Imagine when I blow up, right? Well, it's already here. But just imagine because I don't think I'm going to do you guys like that. I mean, I know I'm not going to do you guys like that because it has happened to me before where somebody came up to me and was like, oh, Dina, you inspired me and stuff like that. So make a long story short, so the guy, he, he was... You know, act like he was get. I don't even know if the brother was getting stuff from Whole Foods. And so he was like, um, he was like, do you, could you tell, he was like, oh yeah, you say your day was good, like you in a rush, like you don't want to talk. See, I tell you guys, if you're not needy, people could feel your energy before you even open your mouth. They could feel it. And so since I'm not like, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, like putting that needy Bob L, it made him more attractive, I guess, right? And so he was like, um, he was like, Dad, you act like you ain't got time to talk. And I was like, well, I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> and he was like, all right. So he was like, could you tell me where the butter is? And a part of me wanted to be like, bro, do it look like I work here, bro, <laughs> right? So I just was like, you know, the feminine part in me was like, no, Dina, don't say that. Don't get the attitude, whatever. Be kind. So I was like, all right, it's over here, whatever. And then I went and I was getting vegan meats, right? Because my oldest son was telling me he wanted macaroni and vegan meats. And a part of me was like, I should just tell him to get it himself. He should have came with me. But then I just was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm here. I'm going to just do it. You know, whatever. So the guy, he came over to the meat, the vegan meats. And a part of me wanted to say, bro, what the fuck? Right? <laughs> And he was very nice looking. He, he was like, you know, like very nice looking and everything. And his energy was, it was, it was okay, right? So he was like, all right, one last thing. Do you got a boyfriend? You could tell he was like kind of nervous. He was like, do you got a boyfriend or a husband? And I was like, no. And he was like, um, I was like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> like, all right, you corner me. What's, what's up? All right. And he was like, um, can I get your number? And I was like, all right. I was so in a rush. I just gave him the number. And I was like, just call me. He was like, what's your name? And I was like, Dina. And he extended his hand. He was like, my name is such and such. And I was like, all right. And then I left. So the idea about this video is this, right? Oftentimes, when we are not enjoying life, and that's why I said I made the decision that I did make. Far as rocking out to my greatness, far as doing the things that give me passion, right? The thing that, I mean, I'm passionate about doing a lot of videos, but the things that, you know, that's in alignment with my calling. And I'm not going to do anything that's not in alignment with my calling. And so when you in alignment with your calling, you will see you are able to manifest things quicker. You are able to manifest money. Money is a big thing, right? Because some people say, oh, well, money, I don't, you don't have enough money. The reason why you probably not manifesting it is probably three things. One, you're not giving, right? You're not giving. And then two, well, you're not giving enough. And then two, you have this scarcity mindset, which causes you not to want to give because you like, well, if I give, then you know it's going I'm I'm gonna have less than what I have. In my universe or in the universe is a law called compensation, I think. Where is so what you put out you get back in return. So don't look at it like, oh well, if I give, I'm not you don't look at it like that. Just give freely. And I'm not saying like give in a sense where as though 
you, you know, you giving from your rent money or anything like that. I'm like, I'm saying give if you have extra to give. Even if it's a dollar, even if it's five dollars, whatever, that's gonna come back to you. So three, you can't create or you can't manifest because you're stressed. If you're stressed, or if you keep talking about what you don't want to show up in your life, that's why I tell you guys, I don't focus on things or I don't use low vibrational words. And it's not to, you know, to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm acting like I'm something that I'm not. But I'm acting the way that I want to be, right? So although I may be going through this, I'm acting the way that I want to be. So if you keep telling yourself, you stress, you stress, you stress. Remember the universe is working in your favor. Whether you believe that or not, that's irrelevant. The universe is actually working in your favor. So if you keep telling yourself these things that you stress, you this, you that, what's going to tend to happen is that's what's going to constantly show up in your life. So if I tell myself, like, I'm happy, right? Those are some of the things that I tell myself. I'm happy. I'm healthy. Um, I'm meeting phenomenal people that's kind, that's loving. I tell myself that because I tell you guys all the time, the subconscious does not know fantasy from reality. Whatever you plant into it and repetition, repetition is everything. So if you constantly say these things, you going against your old programming, you going against the things that is no longer serving you. So I hope you guys got something from this video. I don't know where that was going to go with the guy, um, but whatever happens, it happens. And I, that's another key thing. You can't look at your life and say, well, uh, you know, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? That's a neediness energy that you're putting out. You got to enjoy yourself. Do things that is, is fun. Do things that you enjoy doing. You got to really, really be in alignment with life right you gotta really be in alignment with life so with that being said i love you guys i love you i love you make sure you guys subscribe to the to the channel if you feeling this content if you're not hey ain't no love lost boo um and with that being said